over 50 armored tankers landed in Imo State. All this weapon being acquired from Canada, acquired from Russia, acquired from China, acquired from America, they are being used in order to Islamize everybody. My name is Mazi Adnikeman Kendelen Wachineke, a bona fide active member of IPOB and also an active financial member as well, serving the indigenous people of Afra through media, evangelists, and also music. Today, we want to bring to the notice of the Russian government that as much as Nigerian government is busy acquiring weapons, so we are also going to be busy putting them on notice so that by the time that we begin our madness, nobody will blame us. That is number one. Number two, question that I want to ask these people, how would they be able to look us in the face in the future by the time we have our freedom to congratulate us, to say that you've done well for yourself? But right now that we are fighting for our own freedom, they are busy selling weapons, deadliest weapon to the country that we are seeking our freedom from. And tomorrow, they will be showing this their sh show of shame, if I might use that word, in order to congratulate us. And the same thing goes to the Eflifus, governors, be you senators, as long as you're a public servant in Biafra land, as long as you're a public servant in Biafra land, there is no hiding place for you. Because one thing that you must know is this, that we are the most traveled people all around the world. A lot of people have traveled willingly. A lot of people have traveled desperately. That is why that you must be very, very careful. You must be very, very careful. There is no hiding place for you. There is no hiding place for you. Our message today is direct to the Russian uh, president, President Vladimir Putin, whom just recently they supply to Nigerian government weapons in order to do what? In order to conquer the citizens of Nigerians. People like Putin or every other world leader all across the country, I mean all across the world, they know exactly what is going on. They are aware when Mazen Nam Dikano wrote a letter, open letter to, Dono, to, 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 to Joe Biden saying do not sell weapons to Nigeria. Buharis have an Islamic agenda. This is an open letter. And there is no major leader in this world, or be it Africa, or West, or, or here in the Western world, that does not see these things. This is an open letter written by Mazen Nam Dikano on the 10th of May 2021. 10th of May 2021. Just a month before his abduction from, from Kenya. To Joe Biden and said, do not sell weapons to Nigeria. Buhari have an Islamic agenda. And this Islamic agenda is what is taking place today. This is our Islamic agenda is what is taking place in the plateau state. It's taking place in all across the country in order to Islamize everybody. These weapons, they use our money to borrow they use our money to buy weapons in order to Islamize us. And that is why we are putting them on notice. Now let me read the news. Let me read the news. Nigeria to supply, I mean Russia to supply Nigeria later weapon to curb growing insecurity. You're talking about growing insecurity, you want to fight insecurity? But the same people that we are supposed to fight, you are busy recruiting them into the nigerian army 
This is a direct message to put in because if do not neglect what we are doing, viewers, the moment you're coming in, all we want you to do is to share. Our message is going far. They are listening. They are listening. Do not neglect it. All you have to do is to share. The insecurity that you say that you want to use these weapons to fight. The same people, the same Boko Haram, ISIS in West Africa, you are busy recruiting them into the Nigerian army. You are busy recruiting them into Nigerian police. You are busy recruiting them into DSS. You are busy recruiting them in all security agencies all across Nigeria. You are using insecurity to defraud or to convince other people that you want to. But these people, they know exactly what is going on in Nigeria. But because they want to make a profit before Nigeria breaks up. They want to try to play a part in a sense that to see if they can be able to put Nigeria one. And also, Nigeria have been able to succeed in order to subjugate all the major media platform all across the world so that they cannot be able to carry our news out and when they see all broadcasting they say that we are fake news we are propaganda we are people fighting against the nigerian state but they know the truth and they are listening because of this, we are letting President Putin of Russia that you must, you must stop supplying Buhari government a weapon. You must go to Biafra Star News Online and see where Mazen Namdekan wrote an open letter and said, don't sell weapon to Nigeria because Buhari has an Islamic agenda. This is an open letter to President Joe Biden. Putin, you must go and see that. And that is the reason why that uh, 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 America have suspended to sell the weapon to Nigerian government. And now they have turned to Putin. They have turned to Russian government so that they can acquire more weapons. Today, today, about 50 50 of armored tankers were seen in Imo State. In Imo State, one of the states in Nigeria, one of the states in Biafra land. About 50 armored tanks today, as we speak. Today, as we speak. So, we are putting your notice that you must, you must stop supplying Buhari government weapons. You must stop supplying them because the more you are supplying them, that means you are helping him in order to Islamize us all. And we cannot allow that to happen. We cannot allow that to happen. This is not 1967. We know what you guys did. We know what the role Russia play. We know the role Egypt play. We know the role America play. We know the role all the major power play during 1967-1970. It is not saying now. But this time around, we are putting you on notice because we can never allow Buhari government to take our ancestral land.